on Marketing. I'm one of your hosts, Mary Ann Sopressi with What's Up Southwest Florida and Teach Me Social. And joining me is... <gasps> I'm Jenny with Jenny Be Creative. You're and, oh, sorry. That's all right. So we want to welcome you back to another episode <laughs> of our little antics on marketing and, bra and branding. We've been doing a, a whole series of these. And today we're going to be talking about logo, logo style types. This, mm. Who knew? Who knew there were so many different kinds? There are so many kinds. Because everybody thinks of a logo as just one particular thing. And there's not. There's several. There's different many. styles. And it's kind of important to know what kind of style that you're attracted to and what you want for your business um, when you're beginning that conversation with a designer. Um, and so I figured I'd quickly go through some some of them, and uh, trust me, there's more, but... <laughs> this will give them a good idea where to where to start when they're looking for a logo so they know what style they wear. And, like. and it also helps to um, know your favorite brands, right? And what gives you an emotional response, because brand is an emotional response. So which ones give you an emotional response? And then you can do that same style type on yours. So let's start. Let's, let's, a brand mark. What's a brand mark? What's a brand mark? So... Let's think of apple, the little apple, apple. the little chunk out of it. That is a brand mark. So it's just a, it's a shape that represents the Twitter, the Twitter, Twitter bird. That's a mark. So, um, and then we can go on to more abstract, like the Pepsi logo, the little swoosh with the red, white, and blue. Because um, nobody really knows what that really means. It, it's abstract. And you know, we got Airbnb and Nike. The and Nike swoosh. And uh, I helped my nephew buy a PlayStation t-shirt yesterday, and I was just like, oh, look at that abstract brand icon. Anyway, so let's move on. This, this is a fun one, uh, a mascot. Mascot, obviously, just like your favorite uh, sports team, they have a mascot, whatever it may be. The gecko. The gecko. The gecko for gecko. Geico. yes. Um, KFC's, uh, Colonel Sanders, uh, Tony the Tiger. I, I like Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, okay, so let's keep going. So, um, like word marks. So these are the most common used, obviously, Google, uh, Coca-Cola. It is literally the word in a stylized way. Oh, there you go. Um, Letter marks like uh, the M for McDonald's or the N for Netflix. Or the um, H for Hulu or... Yeah, absolutely. So F, F for Facebook? Uh-huh. She's Because that's kind of both. Cause She's that's, learning. Because that's, you know, <laughs> it's like Google, Facebook is the word, and they're, they have their own... They have their own icon. Their, right, and uh, then they got the F, so... And a lot of them use them on Favicons and their yeah. search browsers and stuff like that. And this is a, a common used as well in a combination kind of logo. So obviously you see the N for Netflix, but it often says Netflix underneath it. Yes. Or you can see Netflix by itself. It's it's a combination logo. Ah. Uh -huh. And you can combination any kind of logo, like uh, Burger King or Direct TV. So it's kind of a combination. It's the it's the little scene with the name of the company. Look at her. Or the light bulb with the name of the company. Yes, ma'am. Oh. You're like, I never knew. <laughs> I didn't really. I didn't know that, that it had a name. That's, yeah. but that's why we're here. We're having deep thoughts. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. So watermarks. Watermarks are usually uh, in monograms. So, you know, HBO, NASA, they, they're, that's not their full name, but it's an abbreviation of their name. Um, and, so, and so the N-A-S-A -A of NASA, you know, they're not... I don't remember what it's National like, Aeronautic something or other. Space Agency. There I know go. Space well, Agency, but that there was we go. <laughs> <laughs> But nobody wants to say that, so we say NASA, and their logo reflects that. So, and then um, last one I can think of, let's see here, uh, SEALs, like Starbucks or Harley Davidson. Um, they're more of a, you know, a stamp, you just, I think of SEALs, Stamping. you know, a seal of approval, you know. I'm sitting there doing the little hand stamp as I'm doing it. <laughs> it's part of my creative process, I guess. Um, so these are more like, they, they include the words usually, but it's more of an elaborate imagery involved in that. 
um, like Starbucks. It's got the the mer mer woman. Sure. Right. Let's, let's go with that. And they've even simplified theirs over time as well because the their first. That's one the was, that's the latest trend in in logos is is back to more simple simplification. Is, is Absolutely. I'm not changing mine. I like complex, <laughs> multicolors. But that's what it's all about. It's it's a representation. It's a representation of, of your business. And so think about which one gives you the most, you know, tingle. Right. Let's go with it. <laughs> and and that will help you have that conversation with your designer and your brand expert when you're ready to make your brand visual ready. All right. Well. How interesting was that? I even learned something. So thank you. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you. And thank you for <laughs> watching this episode of Deep Thoughts on Marketing. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.